Hi, Twin Flames. You're here with Bella Katrina. I have been excited to bring you these messages. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for supporting this channel and for your wonderful comments of light. We are heading into a new moon, but we're in an 11511 portal here in Sydney, Australia. So I'm bringing you a um, gateway energy, a portal energy, right? Because strange things happened to me today, 11511. And um, good, wonderful things. Right, included my twin flame relationship. So it's been very exciting and things can shift amazingly and very quickly. First of all, we have a message here for the Divine Feminine from Mary. Mother Mary has come to me in the last couple of days, giving me guidance and healing and messages. And then I had a profound shift and I have never experienced this. I mean, Jesus is amazing if you haven't met Jesus. It's an energetic, spiritual connection that I've never even heard anyone talk about. It's off the charts for me personally. However, Mother Mary as well, you know, it's like a healing balm comes over you, a grace, a peace, a serenity. It's, it goes to your core and, and actually opens your heart. So we're just going to call upon Mother Mary now to bring in healing for you and guidance. And her message here is caring. Heaven cares for me and I keep my heart open to caring about myself, others and the world. Caring, she cares for us like we're a little child. We're her children. Just like a motherly connection of the feminine, divine feminine energy. See, we haven't had it here on earth. There's not lots running around. And if our mothers didn't experience, um, you know, how to love themselves with their own mother, then they couldn't have passed it on. Mother Mary sent you this card as a reminder that she cares deeply for you and your family. Although you may sometimes feel alone, you are definitely watched over and protected. When life is stressful, Though, as it has been lately for you, you may not feel the Blessed Mother's loving presence. So carry this card with you to help you know that divine love is here for you. I'm going to make an altar towards Mother Mary in my home as well, because I don't do that either. So I know a lot of you do that, and you know Mother Mary, and she's with us all. But I just wanted to share that with you, that that, for me... I've got a blue scarf in the woods. I lit a candle that went for three days when I went back. I've given offerings and then there was a miracle. And helped me shift a karmic substance from my molecular structure from this life that I felt guilty about. I didn't realize the depth of guilt and now it's gone. It was not easy to release. This card also asks you to keep your heart open and continue caring for others. Even though you may, may feel unappreciated or used, remember that your spiritual path is to be loving and helpful, not to change others. However, you don't need to, nor should you, stay in any abusive or toxic situations or relationships. You can care for someone from afar. Most important, care for yourself, dear one. Take time for you and attend to things that are important for your health, happiness and well-being. So that's caring. Thank you, Mother Mary. We ask that you come in and care for us now. Oh, Mother Mary, full of grace, descend upon us now your loving embrace. Open our hearts so that we may be in loving union, happy and free. Divine Feminine of the twin flames our energy right is masculine and feminine within but the divine feminine energy is being birthed and it's very very hypersensitive mother mary's here to to hold that space to help us judge not that you be not judged this is about being criticized also you know when we're growing up with critical parents if you had a parent that was highly critical we judge ourselves and we do um, you know have critical thoughts about it's like an old tape playing sometimes you think you got to catch that thought and think that's not even my beliefs I don't want to talk to myself like that you know it's how in a child says oh, I'd love to have a lollipop and then you hear internally, it's internal chatter. You can't have a lollipop, grow up. 
You're not having that rots your teeth or whatever your mum used to say or your dad used to say. And so now it's time to just catch that and go, wow, I choose not to say that anymore. I choose not to believe that. I choose to indulge my inner child and listen to them. Peace be unto you, as my Father hath sent me. John 20, 2. Yes, thank you, God, for sending Jesus. Peace. We're going to the kingdom. Seek him with all your heart until you find him. Seek him until you find him. I can't stress that anymore because by the name of Jesus, is you know, the darkness disappears automatically, cannot coexist together. So once you have the Holy Spirit and you bring Jesus in through asking Father, you're protected. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. I ask Archangel Michael that you help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear toward others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. Because it can just descend upon you and you feel peaceful. You know, I met a lady with 11 children the other day and I thought, wow, what am I stressed about? She's not stressed at all. I thought, I've learnt this behaviour. This worry is a habit. I got it in my gene pool. I just worry. I'm worried. And this lady's got 11 children. She's not stressed at all. She's wanting to go to the gallery and have cups of tea. I'm like, oh my gosh, if I had 11 children, I'd just be a nervous wreck. God said that's why we gave them to her. <laughs> and then you can help from afar. Oh, that's funny we just said that. So we're looking at the twin flame relationship and we're asking the angels what's coming up for the next two weeks in the twin flame collective. Please, for the divine feminine aspect. So it's divine timing. We love that now. We have infinite patience in God's timing. <laughs> That's what Mother Mary asked me to ask her for. <laughs> like, wow, guardian angels are here. They're out and about and around you. So I hope you enjoyed the affirmations from the Twin Flame reading. If you did, I'll do a longer one for us. <gasps> abundance. I accept good graciously into my life right now. And I deserve abundance. This is about deserving and this is about asking. Because if you don't feel like you deserve it, you're not going to ask for it. Whoa, healing. That's good. Excellent. Right? It just happens. Healing is when you're not re-triggered by something that comes up again. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's like that's what I specialize in healing because I found it for myself. I used to go, oh, wait till you get your kundalini shakti. If anyone said they were a healer <laughs> and I'd joke about it. But the healing is profound when you call in Jesus. Friendships are blooming all over the place. This is also being friends with your twin flame, with yourself. <clears throat> Receiving um, joy, receiving kindness, receiving happiness. We're not good at receiving. Do have to practice that. Forgiveness and receiving. I think forgiveness and receiving are these two. It's Mother Mary and Jesus for me. And retreat, relax. We've got to chill out, relax, let go. Chill out, relax, let go. Because healing is imminent. Money's coming in. This is the, another card of money, abundance. Because, you know, some of us have asked for it and are talking to your guardian angel. And friendships are blossoming, including the one with your twin, but with your inner child and yourself. And this is you learning about your energy center, learning to say no when your throat constricts. Saying, ooh, I feel like negative energy in my throat. I'm just gonna have to talk that out a bit. Is that okay if we talk about this? Or I feel disempowered in my stomach right now. So I don't think it's for me, but if I change my mind, I'll let you know by midday tomorrow. Right? Actually acknowledging your body. Now to do that, I found it really good to be grounded and present. And the only thing I know that gets you present is Reiki really quickly and I teach you that. So you might want to study Reiki with me. It's ReikiByBella.com because it's a healing energy and it helps all this as a frequency. Because once you're at the new frequency, the old frequency can't get you. You've changed radio stations. That's what Reiki level one, two and three are about. And here's meditation. So this is friendship and meditation is really the outcome of this reading. Saying that being friends with yourself and also 
friendly energy going back and forth telepathically and in dreams to your twin, like having telepathic communications that's at an all-time frequency high and I can do it while sitting next to my twin, right, like the other day. <laughs> so sitting next to my twin, I get the telepathic and it's like you don't need words. Words are very cumbersome and they don't express a lot. So learning this telepathy as we ascend into our galactic light bodies, we have to heal the karmic substance from this life and also know that if you're um, divine masculine or you're divine feminine, if you guys are watching this reading, if you're um, twin flame, has um, come in to clear karma with somebody. I received a message this afternoon around that and it's because maybe that person needs to forgive them, right? Their karmic needs to forgive them because we don't come in with karmic residue a lot, twin flames from past lives. It's this life that we're clearing because this is heavy and we're using the skills of um, maybe Atlantis if you were there. But that's about it, you know. So don't go digging around in murky, yucky territory, right. Bring telepathy now. Bring all your skills now. Get your galactic light body ready and know that abundance is your birthright. We've got to relax, learn ways of relaxing like learning Reiki, studying Reiki. So you know yourself, you know your body, you're present and grounded. For the first time in my life, I was present and grounded when I do my Reiki too. I could feel my feet and I thought, wow, half the battle's over. If you're present and you're grounded in your life, right? Because when you're not grounded, that means your energy's up in the top three chakras. And that's easy for somebody to come in and crash tackle you in your power center, right? I have not noticed draining or dumping on me since I got Reiki Master. So it changed my life. I could actually then do my psychic work without being in it all the time, you know? It turn, I could turn it on and off. We have a message here from Mother Mary. Wow. Our Lady of Radiant Grace, Our Lady of Starting Over, and Our Lady of Innocence. Aren't they beautiful cards? So I'm going to look at the Our Lady of Starting Over because that's the past, receiving her grace. That's what I was talking about. Receiving Mother Mary's grace and renewing your innocence look at the heart it's like a you know the f this is going to back to first love it's going to be juicy pumping heart full of vibration of love not hard and resentful full of stones you know 90 percent of people they say suffer heart attack stroke and cancer or nine out of some remember when they were telling us all about heart attack stroke and cancer and then depression was at an all-time high it's because the heart's not talking or heard right it's all about our heart so I urge you to sit and listen to your heart because otherwise it starts screaming at you and can have a heart attack. <laughs> Sorry. Soon it will be time to leave something behind. I know that you may grieve this loss even when you know deep within that it is for the best to let it go. Allow me to nourish you with courage and the realisation that this change is happening so that you can flourish and thrive. Your growth serves the growth of others too. You shall not cause loss or harm to that which you are releasing. All moves in my grace. Surrender your fear and doubt and trust in my unconditional loving grace for all beings. All situations have their purpose, but new purpose is calling you forward now. Even though it might be unfamiliar territory that you are feeling attracted towards, don't try to hide from it or avoid it. The mother is guiding you, telling you that this is indeed your right way forward. The timing may already be happening or will be happening soon. There is no need to force things for you will know when it is time to move on. Yet this oracle tells you if it doesn't feel like this time yet, it soon will. What will this moving on look like? It could be literal, as in the end of a relationship or business arrangement, or a change in where you live. It could be a letting go of an old identity or belief system, or it may even be the releasing of a set of limitations that you placed on yourself because you thought those around you had limitations and you thought they were appropriate for you. 
your role in life or some other reason and now you are questioning that our lady of starting over comes with guidance to forgive and live and let live guidance to feel all your emotions and to make peace as honestly as you can with whatever has transpired not to be good but to be free remember that people act according to their consciousness and wounds perhaps doing the best they can in the circumstances but still not being very skillful or aware they may cause harm but you can move past this even if pain was inflicted upon you personally in time with mother's help you'll feel acceptance and peace through cultivating an awareness that they must have a reason for acting in that way and their reason has nothing to do with you and everything to do with their own consciousness and wounding how you respond to the pain of the past is what is relevant to your own growth now our lady of stunning over arises when you need help to put the past especially a painful past to rest you are entering into a time when the loving mother's support will be helpful as you step onto a new path she says that you are entitled to be free from all that has been free to treat each moment and every moment as a completely fresh start so as to release guilt and shame that's what she helped me do I urge you to call upon her it was massive and amazing and to feel empowered to choose now based on what is in your heart she says that her heart is larger than all your past suffering or confusion so trust in her to help love through you through this transition and support you in starting over all is well beloved do not worry or fear you can trust the flow of life and when you need to take a step when the timing is right deep within with the mother's helpful assistance you will know when to act and when to do so if you have been praying for a new start but are yet to feel that it is happening this oracle comes with a special message for you your new beginning is on its way to you now stay in the faith of your heart and trust in the mother's divine timing for you <laughs> Got to trust in the mother's divine timing. There are some final connections, communications, and resolutions that need to happen for the current life phase to be completed karmically. It won't be long now, and soon you will be ready and free to move on with a fresh start and a refreshed heart. Let's do the healing process if you would like to, and it's an affirmation as well. See before you a woman gazing at you with love and kindness. In her eyes and gold and light flaming about her, she looks lit up from within. As you gaze at her, you see that she gestures to a sacred gold and red heart at her heart's center. Within that sacred heart is a flaming red fire burning bright. She invites you now to surrender into the fire of her heart anything that you want or need to let go of in order to start over. Oh, we're starting over. You may consciously know what that is and see yourself tossing it into the fire of her burning sacred heart. You may not consciously know what it is that you need to release, in which case you can simply imagine dark grey smoke pouring from your body and mind and soul into her heart fire and being burned away. Stay with this process for several breaths. Or however long feels good for you. Don't worry if you cannot visualise clearly. Even just intending that this happens is enough. When you are ready, complete your practice with the following affirmation. Our Lady of Starting Over, Mother Mary, who loves me unconditionally, assist me in letting go, assist me in starting over. Within myself and in my physical life, that I may best resonate with your path of love through your divine grace in your own free will. This is so. Then the Our Lady of Innocence starting a new path, right, with radiant grace from the Mother. I thank you for your attention. I love you. I work closely with um, Twin Flames and bring um, balance, healing and guidance with the Holy Spirit get special blessings and um, 
Jesus and Mother Mary now. I've been initiated into the Rose Ray of Healing. So I bring that through as well as my Reiki energy healing. I can teach you Reiki if you would like to learn how to attune people, children or animals. I love you, Divine Feminine Twin Flames. Thank you for connecting here. And I will be back around the new moon. Please do your affirmations daily. Keep positive because there's a new beginning. Forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. And be innocent as a little child or your first love. We have to wipe the memory of pain and betrayal and bring in Mother Mary's grace. I love you. Thanks for connecting here. Comment below if you like this reading or book your own private reading with me on reikibybella.com. I look forward to it. I love you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.